Hi, Delios here. This will be the mid regular combat mission. I'll be using Newt and droids on this mission just like I did in the special mission of phase one. I'll also have a link to the phase one video which will cover all of the mods used on this team. So starting out combat, um, we have one clone, a Sarge, a Medic, and then basically a bunch of tanks. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Newt's buff on any one of the clones um, to hopefully spread. I am going to use... V2 special because I want to make sure that everything is always being topped off. I'm going to use B2 special because I want him to feed TM to the rest of the team. And I'm going to go ahead and get the droid uh, rolling here. So combat here is pretty straightforward. Um, For the most part, I'm basically just uh, just whittling down the DPS um, and making sure that I keep everything topped off while stacking B1. This is the same strategy that we used in the first phase, um, which is basically you kind of want to just get um, B1 basically as out of control as you can get him. Um, and I did let Sarge go there. Um, I was hoping to actually try to get that kill with Newt um, because I think we can stack the Separatist buff in this mission. Um, so ideally, what I want to have happen here is I want to get all the clones um, to be able to feed us stacks early on. So by the time we get to phase four, um, basically we'll be fully like ready to go. So I did miss one um, already, which is kind of annoying, but I think I'm going to gain a stack here. Yeah, and ideally I want to make sure that I get um, all 10 um, or attempt to get all 10 as best I can, um, as early as I can in the fight. So. May or may not work. Um, as you can tell, I'm having a real hard time getting last hits with Newt. But in, in the worst case scenario, each stack of this buffs gives you 5% uh, more damage for attacks not based on percent health. So um, just any amount of stacking of this is gonna be very beneficial. Now we have two uh, we have two clone charges here, so I'm not going to play around. I want to make sure that um, one of these gets taken out um, fairly early on here because I really don't want them to AoE my whole team uh, or feed turn meter back and forth. Um, yeah, so taking them out uh, as early as I can. Uh, don't forget that the big B2 droid that we have um, is actually considered a separatist droid, so you can heal it with B1. Um, so make sure that you're actually taking advantage of that, as it's very beneficial um, to keep that droid topped off just like the rest of your team. So this is all pretty straightforward. Um, they're not doing anything to Magna Guard at all. Um, right now, so I have no real fear that um, I have no fear that Magna Guard is going to go down or even potentially take damage. I'm almost at 200 stacks on B1, so uh, that's a that's a lot. Um, if you notice there, I used Newt's buff 
Um, and it actually triggered the buff that was already on uh, one of the other characters and killed him. So one of the things that you can do um, is try to time this to where you can get multiple kills with um, Newt. Again, if we don't get um, the 10 stacks before the final wave, it's not the end of the world. Um, but it does help. Like every little bit that we can add does help. Okay, so we've got a couple things here. We've got the uh, Kia Mundi, which is um, pretty scary. Uh, yeah, he can give himself just a ton of buffs, but that's not that's not really um, something that I'm worried about. The, the thing that I'm really worried about is Kit Fisto. Um, so we're not going to um, play any games with Kit Fisto. We're going to try to take him out as soon as humanly possible um, or potentially disable him. Um, him basically having guaranteed counter is really, really bad for us. So we're going to take all the buffs off of um, the other Jedi. We're just going to make sure that like B2 stays topped off. Um, again, I'm not worried about Magna Guard going down. That's kind of a non-issue. Um, we did get the kill there on with Newt instead of spreading his... Um, buff around on the clones. Um, and I did that because I wanted to get one more stack. Um, you know, ultimately, you, you kind of want to try to get your five stacks because that increases your overall damage um, near the end of the fight, but it's not going to be the end of the world one way or another. Um, you notice that I've got a couple of the clones low here. So I'm actually going to try to take out I didn't get the final shot with Newt. So that's the one of the hardest parts of all this is trying to get the final shot uh, with Newt. And it's something you can either try, you know, to attempt or uh, honestly, you could probably just ignore it if you really want to. Um, again, kind of helpful, um, but making sure that all your droids stay topped off Yeah, so like B2 keeps on, or I'm sorry, uh, B1 keeps on getting the final kills on a lot of these, um, which is honestly no big deal. So there's a quick three waves, and then in the last wave here, a lot of this is RNG. So we got Cody um, with fives, Echo. Um, it looks like a one tank and a medic here. So I'm gonna use B2 on Cody. Uh, I didn't intend or, or think that I was probably gonna debuff him at all. I mostly did that on Cody because um, I wanted to make sure that he didn't get any buffs. And um, we're gonna take out medic first here. I don't normally do this um, because medic has a tendency to kill himself, but because this is a whole clone team, um, I think it's really important actually that we take out Medic because I don't want to whittle everything down and then all of a sudden Medic heals a bunch of them for like half their health bar. Um, I am going to put the buff on Cody here um, to either make him waste a turn, which would be very beneficial, um, or he'll spread that to another clone once his turn is up. So I'm going to top off Magna. Um, as is going to be kind of my go-to um, for all of this. And um, I do have the Zeta on Magna Guard, uh, but you're going to notice that Magna Guard never lands anything. So these guys have a ridiculous amount of tenacity. Um, and unless you have Magna Guard modded for potency, you're just never going to land his stun. Um, but in this case, I have Magna Guard um, in full tank mod. So he actually has a crit avoidance arrow. Um, and I've got him in all health, um, tier 6 health mods. Because I basically want him to be just like a brute force tank. Like his only job is to absorb damage for the team. And let the rest of this team um, basically just stack up. Um, so you notice we got two triggers there um, of Newt's buff. So that's really good. Um, that is just going to add a little bit more damage to the team. Um, I'm going to take out Echo next. So 
Unfortunately, you cannot target Cody early in this fight. Um, these clones are already like super tanky, and Cody is going to be even harder to kill because he's going to have um, additional defense um, based on each clone that's alive. So you you can't target him early. So um, it's just not something that you should even consider. You really have to save him till, till last. And I've actually noticed that that's kind of a prevailing theme of this Geo territory battle is leaving the leaders for last. Um, a good example of that is if you have someone like Shakti, um, you really can't take Shakti out. Um, there, there's no way to like burst her down early in a fight, especially if she's um, the leader of the team. So what you kind of have to do is you kind of have to pick off um, all the characters around them um, until you get to a point where um, the leader is kind of isolated and alone and you can just brute force them down with the rest of your team. Um, so again, like my Magna Guard hasn't even taken like health damage yet. So um, really, really important for your Magna Guard to be super tanky, but the, the real winner here is B1. I mean, like, there's no way that they're ever going to kill this many stacks of B1. Um, so basically all we have to do is, is keep stacking B1. Um, keep making sure that... Uh, keep making sure that um, you're topping off Magna Guard with uh, B1 special. And eventually... Um, if your team is tanky enough, you will win this fight. So, um, again, this would probably go faster if I would have gotten to 10 stacks um, on the, the Separatist buff here. But it, it doesn't matter. You, you can see for yourself that I'm not in any trouble here um, in terms of losing this fight. So this is a very viable team, probably for all four phases, actually. So the trick here is is leaving out... Um, the trick here is actually leaving out um, GG. So GG ends up killing and killing your team really, really hard. Um, and that's just not something that you can deal with for this particular um, Geo territory battle. So I think General Grievous is a great character. He works really well in PvP um, because, you know, the whole point of PvP is for you to kill the other team before they kill you. Um, and he's really good at exacting revenge as your team takes damage. Um, but in this case, uh, in the PvE type content here, B1 is really the, the key to all of this because he basically keeps your team from dying. There's like nothing that the, the PvE content can do against you. Um, with this particular team. So I don't even have a Zeta on Newt, and Newt is in just kind of a nice set of tier five mods. It's not any, he's not in anything crazy. Um, so you can see that was pretty much a breeze. I don't think I was ever in real trouble there um, with that Newt led GG team. So I think um, what makes this even better is that the GG team doesn't have to be crazy because as long as you have a Zeta on B1, he starts with 100 stacks. And you saw I was at, I was at 200 stacks in like the first wave, um, which means every time B, B1 uses his special, he's going to fully heal Magna Guard. So um, this is a great team that can be used with a variety of gear levels. Um, so if you haven't used this team yet, it's definitely something that you should look out and check out.